The DNC is also a showcase for lots of movies and messages. And that includes the film Battle in Seattle. Yeah, we're moving now. The protesters have seized the intersections outside. The film is based on the World Trade Organization protests in Seattle in 1999. Tens of thousands of demonstrators took to the streets. This movie had a screening yesterday at the Impact Film Festival here in Denver, and earlier today I spoke with Stuart Townsend, who wrote, produced, and directed the film. I felt it was a really important story. Obviously, 50,000 people uh, went out on the streets to demonstrate against the WTO's uh, corporate-led agenda, and they, were, they succeeded. It was a victory. Um, you know, escalating violence happened, there was a state of emergency, the, the curfew was imposed, and I kind of felt that that was a, a very dramatic subject to, uh, to show on screen. And I read that you did so much research, you couldn't rely just on the media coverage, because that really only told part of the story. Yeah, well, the media focused on the spectacle, uh, which was really about 50 people, um, you know, with property damage uh, downtown Seattle, but there was actually 50,000 demonstrators on the streets, uh, you know, they were peaceful. So it was, uh, it was disproportionate coverage to the, the 50 people rather than the 50,000. And in Seattle, there were all sorts of people from so many different backgrounds, which you tell through so many different characters, a fabulous cast in this movie as well. It's a great cast. I got to work with uh, Shirley Theron and Woody Harrelson and Ray Liotta and Andre Benjamin, amazing cast. And, you know, they just, they really wanted to be a part of this story. So, but it was also a story about labor unions and teachers and farmers and students and people from all over the world and all over America coming to say, you know, uh, we're mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. Leading up to this convention, a lot of people said, oh, I hope we don't have protests like in Seattle. Luckily, that has not been the case at all. The protests have been so minimal. But, but there is a lot of social tension out there. Yeah, I think the DNC is a good platform. If you have something to say, this is the place to say it. Unfortunately, I think the, uh, there's so much police presence here that I think it intimidates a lot of people, and I think that's why you're not seeing that much uh, demonstration. But I'm sure at the Republican convention there's going to be some more. So. Well, I read that a lot of the protesters that were here in mm -hmm. Denver have already left to go to Minnesota. I think so, yeah. There's the Recreate 68 team. Uh, so I think they're up to, you know, they're going to cause some trouble. We'll see. So this movie is airing at both conventions. What is it like for you to be having it shown in a to a political audience? Uh, you know, it's important. It's, it is a political film, but, uh, and it's a film about a very important recent U.S. Uh, event, a uh, historical event. But, you know, more than anything, uh, the, the power of film is, is about people. It's about connecting an audience on an emotional level. So. It's strange to say, but it's, it's actually not that much of a political film. It's more an entertaining film uh, that is, you know, makes you connect with these people who live through those, those few days.